hits the panhandle. And good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It has been a rough couple of days for the folks out west with up to two feet of snow and those nasty winds. It's bad enough that the DOT has sent extra workers out there to help clear it up, but the blizzard is not the only reason all hands are on deck. Channel 8's Jessica Blum joins us with the current uphill battle the state is facing. Jessica? Another reason more snow trucks are being sent from central Nebraska out west is due to a shortage of drivers. On Tuesday, the director of NDOT, John Selmer, told lawmakers he is short about 250 workers licensed to drive the snowplows. On Tuesday morning, several crews from the Nebraska Department of Transportation were sent to the western third of the state. Scenes from Shadron, Rushville, Sydney, and more show just how much snow has piled up with drifts over five feet tall. With the work needed to be done with blizzard warnings through Thursday morning, more drivers were needed since the department currently is facing a shortage of snowplow drivers. NDOT is short about 250 licensed drivers currently, so workers were pulled from central Nebraska. So with the amount of wind that we had coming um, and the amount of snow they were calling for, we were going to need additional resources with snowblowers and, and things of that nature. The director of NDOT was also saying the state is fortunate because the storm is only hitting the western portion of the state and not the entire state. Had this storm been a statewide storm, it would have been a whole different game plan for us to put together um, to try to keep the roads open as good as we could. Local residents, including a couple from Sydney, have also stepped in to help residential areas where people are getting stuck, if not also getting stuck themselves. They sometimes need assistance when it comes to snowstorms, especially as big as this one, to help plow the snow so the roads can get back open. And so he was supposed to go in at one this morning to help plow and we got stuck ourselves trying to get him there. So we spent a good hour and a half trying to get our 1500 Dodge out <laughs> of some snow that was built up just in our neighborhood. It's not just local helping hands, but help from across the state. NDOT has also continued to get help from office staff who also possess a commercial driver's license. This was a huge effort. And and the, the thing is, when we ask people to volunteer to go to do this type of stuff, we'll get many people that will volunteer because, you know, uh, the folks that work for the state of Nebraska, they want to help the state of Nebraska, right? It's just so nice to see kind of the community aspect come back, to, like come together in all forms to really try and, you know, help get everyone where they need to go because no one likes to be stuck. No one asks to be stuck. Um, it doesn't really matter if you have four wheel drive or this or not. But the storm's not done yet. Since September, NDOT has had at least 259 jobs open involving plowing snow. Part-time plow drivers can make nearly $18 an hour with a sign-on bonus. For this winter storm, some drivers have stayed overnight to meet the need, with more snow and high winds expected to last into Thursday. Yeah, not quite finished for them out there yet even. Thank you, Jessica, for our top story tonight. And those